So then Harry, uh, first year really as a, yeah. a senior pro here at London Broncos, I thought a, a nice time to, to have a catch up with yourself. Uh, mm. It was an injury, wasn't it, at the, at the start of the season, around pre-season, but, yeah. but since then, how have you found things um, yeah. and how's it been for you so far? It's good getting back to it. I mean, it was a hard couple of weeks coming back, but it's something that you have to overcome and just develop on from that. So I feel like after getting through them first couple of weeks and really getting back into it, hopefully from here, just keep building and keep building mm. till we're back up to before the injury. Yeah, and it was this year your first proper serious injury as a, uh, as a player? Had a couple niggles here and there, mm. but this is the main main one. And from here, you just got to keep managing it and finding ways around how to not over, um, not put too much on. So, just ways to manage it, really. So for yourself then, as a first year full-time pro in around this full-time environment, yeah. Super League Rugby, Harry, what has that been like for you? It's a big step up, but certainly an enjoyable challenge. Um, I think from here, you've got, as a young player, you have to keep building your knowledge and keep learning things from the older boys and just keep talking. I think the main thing of building as progress is just finding ways and little knowledge, like parts of the game. So just to help me with progressing to that first team like starting position. So last year was a three year deal yeah. Harry, that you signed. So clearly the long term plan for you at this club. So, you know, already with the club playing in Super League and you mm. now playing in reserve team Super League division, What's that been like for you? Is it has it been a real step up? It has been a big step up, but also an also enjoyable one. I think coming from a playing academy where you haven't really got the same tactics or the same people around you, I think coming into this environment where it's on 100% is a real big thing and it's really enjoyable to be in that environment because every day you're just trying to grow and grow and grow and be as best as you can. Whereas in academy, I believe, you're becoming that player and there's only so far you can go before you start needing them older players to start helping you out and with coaches as well. There's only so far you can go and then you need to start getting, gaining more experience by the people around you who've played much longer than I have. I think that's the biggest thing to actually becoming one of the best. Mm. And you know, in terms of the experienced players and, and the coaches, we're saying actually like Ryan Sheridan here, who's, yeah. who's won it all as a, as a Super League player. I mean, do you ask lots of questions to the coaches? Yeah, you have to. I mean. If you want to progress and be in the shoes that they've been in before, you have to learn from them. And the amount of experience that they have is just, you can't get it anywhere else. So I think coming up, that, coming up from academy and that step up of the knowledge and experience is just really good. And a number of other groups, I'm um, sorry, a number of other lads around you in this group, like of Jensen and yeah. Dan Hoyes, have all come through the same progression as yourself. Same program, yeah. And it's also, it comes to working together as well. It's not just the older boys, it's the people that have come up and you've been playing around before. You're all growing together and learning the game even more each time you're training. And I think playing with them in reserves and putting what we're doing in training into them games with each other is just a really good thing for our progression and just building our way up. So, tomorrow, head up to, to Wakefield, uh, yeah. next fixture for, for the reserves. Um, how are we seeing in that, that progression? Because we said it's a big step up for, for a number of you lads, um, but you've seen that progression week on week. Yeah, just the results haven't shown it that way. However, in team, we've just been keeping focus on building what we have and building each week to a point where we can success, like be successful and put points on teams. Look, we're really proud of our tradition here of bringing through young players, Harry. And as we mentioned, you know, you're, you're certainly a player we have huge aspirations for. At the moment, we've got this London Origin um, mm. programme going on. We're really excited about it. It's the first game next week. It's, it's a real opportunity for the young players, north and south, to come up against yeah. each other. It, it's a great um, series and, and programme to have, and no doubt something that you players will be keeping a close eye on. Yeah, it's, it's a very good programme, I think. Many of us in this team now have come through that programme and ultimately I think it's the best way to bring growing talent through and progress these boys from boroughs all over London to become the best player they can be, which means putting them against each other and really seeing who can like, stick out. 